After visiting the incredible city of Rabat, we headed to Morocco's north to the city of Esila. We stayed here only overnight, but we enjoyed the small stalls and the lively vibe in the evening and explored the Medina the next day. And then it was time to go to Tanjamat to reach the ferry. Here we had time to recap the journey that took us to so many lovely places in Morocco and share our thoughts about this country. So please sit back and enjoy this great journey with us. When we arrived in Asila, we had to navigate through the narrow and busy streets to reach our hotel. We checked in, left the luggage in our room and then went outside. The streets were packed. With our van, we've made it today to the city of Asila and we will just stay here for the night. But we have a quick evening stroll and here are heaps of people. They all um, yeah, like to buy something from the vendors and it's really a fantastic vibe here. There was also so much for children here. Toys, bouncy castles and miniature cars to drive around. The next day we went to the Medina. It is a small and quiet old town. Some of the white buildings are beautiful painted. And there are not only one or two, there are many awesome paintworks. We enjoyed a picturesque view of the sea and then we continued on our way. We wanted to go to the supermarket to get some food for the ferry ride. And now our first time that we refuel in Morocco. We've made it directly to the ferry terminal and this is the ship um, where we will hop on. And um, yeah, I think it will depart in a few hours and brings us to Sete with a stop at Barcelona. Again, we are two days on the ferry. I think we can make a little bit of a recap of Morocco. So how was it? The, the highlights of Morocco maybe? What do you think was the best in Morocco? I like the north. The landscape on the north is just amazing. If you arrive uh, by ferry in Tangamate and then uh, go the way to Tichuan, uh, yes. it's a very impressive city. And also yeah. Chef Chuan is very nice. Yeah, so I like the North the most. Yeah, Chef Chuan and Tichon, they have also the Medinas, like like every city in Morocco. But it's not very touristy. You are not forced to buy something. At and least Tichon is not touristy at all. Yeah. So only maybe by Moroccan tourists, but not by foreign tourists. Yeah, so and Chef you... Chuan is a little bit touristy, yeah, okay. so yeah. But, but you can easily nice, navigate nice. uh, through the Medinas. It's not so full, like in Fez yeah. or, or in Rabat or something. But um, yeah, that, that was great. And the, really the, the green lush scenery around Chef Chuan, uh, it was great with these cascades. The yeah, we have been to a national park, which was very great. We also saw wild monkeys, which yeah. were really wild. So they not attend to people and yeah, it was really great. We could catch a glimpse of the monkeys that was great yeah and um, this area was also my favorite i think yeah mine too a and Tijuan as a city, as yeah. a city. Yeah. for me it was rabat i think uh, it's a really big city and it's not um, only the medina you have also yeah. some other parts and rabat is um yeah is i think underrated a little bit 
Yeah. Well, uh, so and also the best is uh, on the ocean, so you can also yeah. take a dip into the ocean, which is very nice. So yeah. So that's so that's why we loved Morocco. It was a really good journey to come here by ferry. And now we go back to France and yeah, finish our trip and um, yeah, go go to I think Dijon is our where, uh, the trip where we start and the trip where we end officially. <laughs> yeah. We are still on the ferry, but... And now we are here in France. Maybe you can spot the signs of the cities here. And we try to find some flamingos. Maybe we are very lucky to find one or two. There are they, yes! So many flamingos and it's really a nice area here but also a storm is coming so um, I think we have to we have to drive to the north. Here ends the journey. We are between Avignon and Lyon and a few hundred kilometers from Dijon and we will make a right turn and um, head to the German city of Freiburg where my sister lives. Thank you for watching. And see you on the next one.